वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक दैट इज डाइजेशन इन ह्यूमंस सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू टॉपिक इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन डाइजेशन टेकिंग प्लेस इन फूड एंड स्टमक आफ्टर स्टमक द फूड इन इंटर्स इनटू द ड्यूडेनम सो ड्यूडेनम इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन काइम एंटर्स थ्रू द पाइरोलिक स्पिंक्टर इनटू द टाइनी स्पॉट्स what happens in the duodenum the secretions of the liver and pancreas are poured and secretions of liver is the bile and secretion of pancreas is the pancreatic juice the bile helps to neutralize the acidic chyme right now the, at this point proteins and carbohydrates are the only partially digested and the lipid digestion has not begun now here what happens carbohydrates get converted partial uh, proteins and carbohydrates are partially digested while lipid digestion does not take take place and lipid is mainly digested by the pancreatic lipase in which lipids are converted into fatty acids and glycerol next comes the two ducts enter the duodenum one entering the gall bladder that is the liver as i have told you another draining the exocrine portion of the pancreas next comes the pancreatic juice now pancreatic juice contains the sodium bicarbonate which neutralizes acidic material from the stomach this contains water sodium salts and various enzymes now the action of various enzymes present in the pancreatic juice like pancreatic amylase it digests starch into maltose which makes an alkaline medium next trypsin and chemotrypsin digest the proteins to peptides okay like pepsin produced in the stomach they are specific to certain amino acids not all of them so they therefore produce peptides so proteins are converted into peptides while lipase is an enzyme which digest the glycerol and fatty acids next comes the liver the liver produces bile which is stored in the gall bladder and sent to the duodenum through the duct now in liver mainly what happens bile juice uh, produced in the liver it is neutral it neutralizes acidic chyme and this bile juice is yellow green liquid which is composed of water cholesterol bile salts right so this bile emulsifies fats that means it separates the small droplets using bile acids so they can mix with the water and can be acted upon various enzymes so this bile also contains bile pigments these are the products uh, of the breakdown of the hemoglobin removed by the liver from the old red, red blood cells right and this brownish color of the bile pigments imparts the characteristics of blanker to the faces this is the main reason so this bile pigments are there but there are no enzymes specially this bile pigments bilirubin and bilirubin are mainly produced as a result of breakdown of hemoglobin Now, what are the other functions of the liver? It detoxifies the blood from the intestine that received via the hepatic portal, as you can see here. And the liver stores the glucose as glycogen mainly. Well, now, what happens mainly? Glucose is not continuously used as for energy purpose. Many times, when there is no need of energy, this glucose is stored in the form of glycogen, and this glycogen. gets break down into glucose when the energy is needed it produces various types of blood proteins now amino pro- amine ammonia produced by the digestion of proteins is converted into leg toxic compound which is called as urea in the blood so may, urea is also produced in the liver so students in this session we have seen the digestion taking place in the duodenum as well as in the liver in further session we will have a more detailed thank you